living in Philadelphia, the best and the worst, right to the point. Okay, let's start with the good news first. Okay, number one is definitely got to be the restaurant scene. Amazing food, amazing bards, amazing cultural, ethnic food. You could eat in Philadelphia every night for like 54 years or something and still not go to a different restaurant. Activities in Philly, you got all kinds of things. You're a history buff. Are you a person that likes to go hiking, biking, walking? You're close enough to, there's trails within the city. There's parks in the city. You can get right out of the city. Lots of stuff to do, plenty to do it, plenty of space around, especially in the city, but out of the city too, forget about it. Opportunity, specifically employment, that's definitely next up on our list. We've got a ton of jobs, we've got a ton of industry here, we've got a ton of stuff all around us being on the eastern seaboard. We're not quite there, but we're close enough. If you know what I mean, job opportunities and employment definitely in the top list. Proximity and ease of travel, definitely on our top list five or so list. Jersey, close to DC, close to Maryland, close to New York. I mean, you couldn't get any closer to the rest of Pennsylvania, but okay, I hinted to this one, but definitely on our top list, affordable compared to other major cities. I mean, hands down, it doesn't happen. I challenge you to tell me another city where you get what you get in Philadelphia and affordability, bang for your buck, there is none. I'd be moving there. I hope I didn't just put my foot in my mouth. But I would be curious if there is actually such a thing, because I don't think there is. All right, let's go on to the worst now. You got to talk about the good. You got to take the good with the bad. So the first bad thing is the weather. I, it's not really a bad thing, I guess. We do have all four seasons. The winter gets cold, and yes, we get snow. Now, we haven't had any snow this year yet. Knock, knock. Knock on wood, but gets really really hot in the summer but you've got beautiful springs and beautiful falls and love that fall weather so we definitely have the weather if you don't like extreme colds and extreme heats eh -eh, not for you another worst thing is definitely traffic now imagine how good it is to get places uh, but sometimes it's a big p-i-t-a pita that's like a delicious bread you can get I think you know what I mean it's definitely a big pain to travel um, and I should say travel like locally like rush hour or driving up the blue route or 76 god forbid anyhow traveling um, commuting is kind of difficult because there's a lot of people in a small space but it's one of the worst things uh, but it's not as bad as crime so if you're a, a lover of crime then come on in <laughs> But seriously, we, we, when you have a high concentration of people, you're going to have a high crime rate. So we just don't go to those areas, and you just got to be aware of your surroundings. Now, I'm not saying you can just waltz down Center City with your gold robe on, and you're going to be golden, pun intended, but there is a lot of crime throughout the city. It's definitely one of the things I want to complain about, and look, all cities have it. I'd like you to tell me about a really safe city where people live, and there's no crime at all. I don't think it happens, so just be aware and... Check out some of our other videos on which places have good crime and bad crimes or, you know, higher or lower crime rates. Uh, a lot of the crimes in this city, though, are not against the person. It's against your property and so forth, so I wouldn't be too worried about that. The last thing here on our list, and I shouldn't have said last because usually people turn the video off yet, and I'll just keep talking, is our school system. We, we've got like a hit or miss here. Um, I mean, in the, the Philadelphia school system is, is, is not high on the list at all of good school districts it's it's a pretty poor district actually but we've got some great people that work in our fair city school system and some of the catchments which is the, the fancy way of saying the area where the kids go to this school or kids go to that school some of them are stellar even compared to other elementary schools in the state now the school system isn't stellar but right outside of the city Publicly and privately, we've got the some of the best and literally a stone's throw, if you really heaved it, from the city, up the main line, the best school in the country. In the country. I think we got actually in the top 10 in the country. We've got three of them right in our backyard. I hope you found this video helpful. If you found it helpful, and even if you didn't, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell. Anything else you're gonna hit, you wanna hit me up, that's fine too. We work nights and weekends, we're always glad to help. Have a great day, everybody.